Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm at Dobby's National Chain of Nurseries in the UK. Just here to check out what they have in store, houseplant wise. So let's go and have a look. Let's have a look what they've got then. Never been to this place before. Looks very nice though. All right, so this looks like the houseplant section. Oh, I like these. Propagations. And little jars, never seen that before. That's quite interesting. Foliage and colour glass, they're calling it. $12.99 for that. Didn't say what they are. That's a calafea. Calafea with roots on. Didn't know you could do that with a calafea. Thought we could only do it by division. So that looks like a different back here maybe. They're quite interesting. So it looks like they have quite a big plant section. It's a massive place here, I've never been here before. Looks like they've got quite a lot, so I think we'll have a look over here. I think it's quite premium maybe. So we've got some monsteras in pots, peace lilies, umbrellas. All very nicely decorated. Fiddle leaf fig. £27. So what have we got here? Some echeverias. By the looks of things, Tradescantia zebrina, quite a full plant, $8.99. That looks like a nice echeveria. Nice tips on the leaves. How much is that? £10. Sansevieria. I must say, all these plants look quite healthy. Looks like they're doing a good job of maintaining these. That cactus looks fantastic. What's this? Senecio cephalophorus. I'm not sure what that is. If anyone knows what that is, leave it in the comments. It's quite nice. I think I saw that in Ikea recently, actually. Cheaper than that. Look at this. Stems on that. Alocasia Tigrina. Lovely. Doesn't look the healthiest though. £25. Got some yellowing leaves. Doesn't look the healthiest. Snake plants, big pot that one, £30, some more anacacias, this is elephants here I think, pink dragon, £25, I like the look of this one, not seen that one before in the shops, Sansevieria trifishata, £20. I think that includes the pot. It's a whale fin, I think. Sansevieria Victoria, £10. Aloe vera's. Oh, what are these? What are these? Interesting. Hug me, I'm soft. What does that mean? It's an interesting plant. Delsperma echinatum, $12.99. Look at that, it's a dead interesting plant that is. I've never seen that before. Has it got any care instructions? Doesn't seem to. Might come back for that. It's dead interesting. Wow, look at this section. Beautiful. Look at that, absolutely enormous. Size of my hand compared to it. 200 quid. Nice big jade with some nice colouring on the leaves. Feel a bit soft, maybe a bit underwatered. How much is this? 
130 pounds for this jade. Absolutely fantastic plants here. Mamiralia candida, 25 pounds, quite nice. That one there is quite nice. That's quite interesting, 50 pounds. Quite expensive in this shop, I think. Well, they've got absolutely tons of houseplants here. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm really impressed. All different types. And they all look really, really healthy. Apart from the odd one or two that I saw earlier. Look at this. Lovely leaves on that. Fantastic. Shiny. What is it? Philodendron Dragon Tail. 15 pounds. I've got my thumb in the soil a bit and it feels very, very moist. Quite a lot of the stems have been cut off. 15 pounds. It's quite nice. They've got a bunch of Calatheas. Peperomia obtrusifolia. How much are they selling them for? Nine pounds, not too bad. Begonia maculata, that's nice. 25 pounds. Maranta. Beautiful leaves on that. Begonia Masionana Jungle, 27 pounds. Beautiful. That's lovely. Look at the stems. What a beautiful plant, so unusual. 27 pounds. This one looks interesting. Philodendron, is it? Philodendron New Red. 15 pounds. Spoiled for choice in this shop. Another jade plant, smaller leaves. It's interesting. Look at that snake plant. Agave desmentiana. I'll show you that. Agave desmentiana, 200 pounds. Looks like a Sansevieria. Interesting shape. Some more alocasias. But these are the elephant ears. Alocasia mix. Don't like it when they're not specific what the plant is. Is this a philodendron? Philodendron mix. If you know what type of philodendron that is, let me know in the comments. It's not telling me here, unfortunately. Look at the leaves on that, stunning. Kalanchu nubinia, 20 pounds. Quite interesting. So we've got some hanging pots up here. I did want to know what that was, what it's called. It didn't seem to want to tell me. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. What does it say up here, actually? Here we are. Ripsalis Oasis, 20 pounds. It's quite nice. Unusual type of hanger. String of spades or string of hearts, 30 pounds. Syngonium in a hanger. Strange. 27 pounds. Oh, look at this. Beautiful plant. Foliage. Is that all it says? 50 pounds. It's got a hole in it. Which isn't great, but other than that, the leaves do look fantastic. Looks like a Skindapsus satin. Satin Pothos I've just recently purchased online. Got an unboxing video on that coming out, if it's not out already. Sansevieria Rocket, that looks interesting. 30 pounds. What's this? This looks like a little Monstera, but I don't think it is. Alocasia. It's got some yellowing leaves, unfortunately. 15 pounds. Calafea. Little baby Sansevieria, seven pounds. 
quite premium in this shop, I think. Wow, look at this. Ah, it's a little tiny ZZ plant. That soil was very wet, and it shouldn't be for a ZZ plant, it should be dry. They don't like to have wet soil. Monstera looking a bit ropey. What's this? Monstera minima. That's interesting. 17 pounds. More of these minimas. They've all got the fenestration in the leaves. Looks nice. Calafea. As you can see, crispy edges. Calafea is always good, crispy edges. Peacock plant. Nice plant, but you just have to treat it the right way. A little fiddly fig, 27 pounds. That Calafea, if you're interested, was 30 pounds. String of beads, 27. Very bare plant, seems to be dying back quite a bit. Pink dragon down there, 17 pounds. Quite interesting pot they put it in. Jewel orchids at the back there, they look quite nice. That looks beautiful. Calancho, Calancho double flowering, 17 pounds. It's a very big version of that, that's very nice. Anferium with like a chocolatey brown like leaf um, flower type thing that it produces. That one looks nice. Beautiful. 20 pounds for that, would you buy that? Let me know in the comments. Wow, what's that over there? That looks beautiful. Aglionema. Oh, that's lovely. Wow, 30 pounds, might come back for that. Might disappear though. Looks lovely. Dendrobium, 10 pounds. Peace lily with some dying flowers on it. There's this one, it was 50 pounds. It's now 10 pounds. So you're just buying it for that basically. I wonder why that has died back so much. Some more plants over here, what have we got? These look quite interesting. Foliage in Ceramic Park. Why doesn't it say what it is? Let me know if you know what that is. Looks like a nice Birkin. Just says Philodendron mix, 20 pounds, but that's the Birkin. Another Philodendron. I think I've had that before. Calafea Elgograss, I've got a, a um, care video on Calafea. Also I repotted the, that exact same plant into a bigger pot. It was root bound, I'll link to that in the description. Got some more philodendrons, doesn't say what that is. 20 quid. Looks reasonably healthy. That's a really full plant, that. 27 pounds. And you get a very nice full plant. That's quite a good value, I would say. What's that on the back? Ripsalis horida, 23 pounds, it's quite nice. Flavodium, Flavodium aureum, blue star, it's quite nice, seven pounds. Bunch more calafairs, have these got crispy leaves? Looks like they have. I would suggest that either the soil's too dry, which it doesn't feel like it is, or it's not getting enough humidity, which is a bit of a surprise in this place. Feels quite humid. These leaves look nice. Microsorum crocodilus. 10 pounds. Nice leaves, you can see where it gets the name from. It's a nice philodendron. Really nice pot. Philodendron mix, 20 pounds. Didn't say what type of philodendron it is. Looks nice and healthy, that one, actually. All right, I think we've not seen this section over here. 
Looks like some philodendron birkins that aren't variegated, that are reverting back. No, it's just philodendron green. I wonder if that's supposed to be a philodendron birkin, but it's reverted and they're selling it as a green. Philodendron birkins revert back to green when they're not getting enough light. The reason I say that is because these have clearly got the variegation in. And they're selling that as a green. That's a white wave. Looks very similar to that. So I reckon something's gone wrong and they're just trying to sell it off. Parlor palms. Dipsia lutescens, seven pounds. This looks nice. Alocasia. Got a new leaf coming through. Maranta, is it? 50 pounds. Get a big old plant. Large palm. Lots of hanging baskets up here. String of turtles, is that? Peperomia postrata, 23 pounds. Really full, full plant you get there. That's good value for money, 23 pounds. Panaphaea zebrina. I have this, very fussy plant. How much is it? 15 pounds. That looks nice. Nice leaves, colour fair. 15 pounds again. Peace lily, quite a large one. It's got a flower coming through, or a couple of flowers rather. 30 pounds, quite expensive for a peace lily. You can buy it cheaper in Ikea, I think. Aha, what's this? Is that a watermelon pepperonia? Oh, the leaf's just falling off it. This feels rotten. Oh, it's all rotten in this. Can't find, oh, look at all the leaves that have fallen off because they've rotten off. Too much moisture in here. Hmm. That doesn't bode very well. Peperomia aggregaria. <laughs> 15 pounds. I think that's a watermelon. I don't think they're treating it very well, so I'm not going to bother. Skindapsis. Is that a devil's ivy? Spider plants, little ones. Quite cute. Nine pounds. Little Chinese money plants, 15 pounds. Looks very full actually. And they've got um, little babies to the side of the main stem. It's a nice happy plant. And I think this is the last section here. Some more spider plants, I guess, in a hanging basket. How much was that? 23 quid. Some more monsteras, bigger ones for 20 pounds. Seen these already. Absolutely massive pot, 20 pounds for that. It's dead interesting. What is that? Never seen that before. Look at the leaves. Is it going to tell me what it is? Yes, it is. Calancho. By Versiflora, Tysiflora, Calancho Tysiflora. We'll be butchering that name. Ooh, look at this. What's that? That is a Crashula Capitella campfire for 30 pounds. Wow. That is beautiful. That is such a full plant. So it's a crashula, so it's in the jade family. Hmm, might consider that, 30 pounds. Come back for that maybe. This is a Calancho barahensis. Interesting foliage. Look at these. Interesting. Calancho Tormentosa Dark. 
30 pounds again. Seems quite a good value for the size of the plant. A massive pot. Well, I'm impressed with the variety of plants they have in this shop. I think that's probably the biggest pot I've ever seen. <laughs> 60 pounds. Some terraniums over here. I think I'm going to try and make my own terranium. So they've got pebbles, soil, a few other bits and bobs, stones, and a calafaya. And um, is that a different back here, is it? Next to the calafaya? 40 pounds. They all look quite nice. Look at that one. Lovely. The green bottle garden terranium. 80 quid. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make one. More fun doing it yourself, isn't it? Do you agree? If you've made a terranium, let me know how you got on. Anything I should look out for? Because I've never done it before, no idea. I'll probably do it on film just to share it with you guys. They do look dead interesting. They've got Fetonia in that one. Look at that. Beautiful. 70, how much is that? 85 pounds. It's interesting. And the little mason jar. Doesn't say what it is or how much it is, or it does. Lab glass, 17 pounds. Doesn't say what the plant is. Little mini terranium there. 23 pounds. And we've got some bonsais over here. I think this is the last section now. Don't have any bonsais in my collection. I'm not sure I'm going to start either, to be honest. It's a whole new world, I think, bonsais. So what is, is there anything I like the look of? There was a couple of things over here somewhere. I've forgotten what they were. There were so many plants in here. I have forgotten. Pickle plant. Don't know anything about it. If you do know anything about it, leave it in the comments, how I should treat it, how I should look after it. I'll buy that, 13 pounds. And there was also that hanging basket, wasn't there? So it was this over here, Peperomia, for 27 pounds, sold. Stick my finger in, doesn't feel too wet. A bit dry if anything, but that's better than being too wet, I reckon. So this is what I think I'll buy, that Peperomia at the bottom there, and then this strange looking pickle plant, looks super interesting. Quite happy with that, so I think I will go and pay for these. All right then guys, so as you can see, there's loads and loads of different plants in this shop. This is Dobby's, a national um, chain of nurseries in the UK. So I'm going to purchase this peperomia, hanging peperomia, and that pickle plant. Quite a good plant I picked up there. And I will close this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out my other plant shopping videos. I did one in IKEA, one in B&Q, and one at home base. Check those out, guys. I'll link to those in the description. If you have any comments, um, particularly on the plants that I couldn't, couldn't recognise, didn't know what they were, if you let me know what they were, and if you let me know how best to look after this pickle plant if you have it. That'll be really useful. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.